Well, welcome Tauruses and thank you for being here today. This is your weekly love message for week commencing Wednesday the 14th of December through to Sunday the 18th of December 2022. And my apologies for the lateness of your reading. On the left hand side will be your crowning message cards and on the right hand side your crowning wisdom message cards. So let's jump straight in and have a look and see what your overarching crowning messages are for the rest of this week, Tauruses. Oh, okay. Within the next few months, okay. Okay, thank you. Oh, romance. <laughs> Tauruses. And you know something? It feels as if it's going to be your twin flame. All right, my angels and spirit guides. Oh, thank you. Okay, that's a lot. The situation will improve, communicate clearly. Okay, that makes sense. I feel as if many of you, you've got a decision to make with somebody that either, I want to say, I don't want to say stringing along, but I feel it's somebody that you do care about. Either this is a new connection um, and I feel that it almost feels as if neither one of you are really communicating clearly what you want. And I feel that the situation is going to improve when you decide what you want. And you'll feel that you're being guided to do this quite soon. Um, and I feel that many of you, if you can communicate really clearly what it is you want, okay, from this connection, it's going to improve the situation. And within the next few months, the two of you are going to be very, very much in love. I also am picking up, you're being guided um, to, to connect with Mother Earth. Yeah, connect with Mother Earth right now. Um, it feels as if you're being guided to feel your way through this. For those of you that I'm connected with, the other person is very confused. I feel that they're secretly, they see a lot of happiness and love. And I feel it's because, excuse me, that you're dealing with your twin flame. But it almost feels as if this person is almost suppressing it because I feel that this, the situation is like, because neither one of you are communicating really clearly um, what is it you want from this relationship. It almost feels as if it's creating anxiety between both of you, actually. I feel that this person is being kept up at night. They're, they're wondering, stressing over this. Very, very sad. Very, 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 very sad. Oh, gosh. It, communication is key. Communication is really key because I feel that this person does want to communicate, but it's like they're not sure whether or not you're going to reciprocate. And you know something? I feel what I was channeling, that you need to make a decision soon, um, Tauruses, because I feel that this person might actually walk away if you don't. That's why you're both being guided. I feel that you're being guided to communicate. They want to communicate, but I feel that they're a bit anxious to communicate with you. Okay? And so by you communicating clearly, it will improve the situation because both of you will know where you stand. And then within the next few months, the two of you are going to be very much in love. Wow. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me your crowning wisdom messages to the question, how does these soulmates of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus feel towards them in love? Week commencing Wednesday the 14th of December through to Sunday the 18th of December 2022. What is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Tauruses? I'm allowed to see for them. Ooh. Okay. Well, this card, there's two cards that's come out here and this came out. So separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So either um, there is, I feel that the two of you, this separation is that you're not on the same page. It feels more of a, um, uh, a spiritual separation. Might Some of you might physically be separated or there is going to be a separation because, like I said, I feel the wisdom that's coming in is that if you don't make a decision, what you want about this connection, 
with this connection, um, Taurus is, and communicate that clearly, it feels as if this person will walk away, which is triggering the separation. But the first thing that came to my mind is that the two of you are not aligned at the moment. Yeah, look at that. Playfulness and romantic feelings. Playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine and romantic feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring and for many of you i'm not being funny but it really does feel as if this person is your twin flame you've got romance coming in once twice three times so i don't know if three um is a significant number for you but three is all about nurturing and i feel that that is what you're being guided to do make a decision and then nurture this connection express your feelings bring in that playful energy and if, within the next few months of so the two of you are so going to be in love like you you look back and just i feel that many of you your past may be catching up on you or you may be scared of getting your heart broken, scared of making the right, wrong choice. I feel that you're being guided to move past that. And that's why you're being guided, I feel, to connect with Mother Earth. Yeah, because I feel that the choices that you make now is um, either going to trigger a separation between you and this person or almost like a romance of a lifetime. All right, uh, Tauruses, if this uh, message resonates for you already, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. It really does help to push this video out to other Tauruses. It also enables you to get those notifications of when I'm uploading new messages. And of course, it does help to support the channel. So I thank you in advance for your support and encouragement. Existing subscribers, welcome back. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement and donations. It's really appreciated. And I really do hope that you all get something useful and meaningful out of this week's reading let's get into your main love message my angels and spirit guides of the divine please can you tell me how does these soulmates of taurus sun moon rising and venus feel towards them in love week commencing wednesday the 14th of december through to sunday the 18th of december 2022 whoops what is their current energy spiritually, emotionally, mentally and physically towards Taurus that I'm allowed to see for their highest good and for the greater good of all? <clears throat> As above, so below and all around me. Thank you. Okay. Let's see what's going on, Tauruses. My... Ooh. Wow, look at this. The five of um, wands. This person's very conflicted. It's almost they're playing a bit of um, tug of war within themselves. Because I feel that they secretly see a beautiful future with you. Nothing but happiness, prosperity and abundance. But they're, it's almost like they're suppressing it. They want to show it. They want to live it, you know. Um but they're very very sad and it feels as if because they just don't know what you want from this connection let's continue my angels and spirit guides of the divine thank you look at that i can't make it up I told you this person's heartbroken if you want this person in your life you know who they are okay uh, i would say act now don't wait. Yeah, look, you're being guided to, that you can balance this out. This person may feel that they're giving a lot to the connection and you're not reciprocating, which is what I said. Um, but also I feel that with it coming in the center of the reading, Taurus, is it's saying that you have the ability to improve the situation by balancing out and giving to this connection. And many of you, I feel that you're being guided to communicate that very clearly. Yeah, whether you want this person in your life or you don't. If you don't, then obviously cut them loose. Um, take them out of their misery, for heaven's sake. Um, but if you do want this person, then it's time to kind of step up. Make a decision, make it soon. Otherwise, this person is going to make it for you and walk away. Let's continue. 
my angels and spirit guides thank you i feel that many of you with the queen of cups you actually love this person but you really may not be expressing it it could be you thinking about them because it's under separation so let me see okay yeah it is them that's not your energy. This is this person's energy. You know that this person loves you. And I feel that you're thinking about them because you actually do see them as long-term commitment marriage material. This is your energy, Taurus. You are thinking about this person. You know that they love you. And that's why they just pointed out to me that if you don't make a decision, they will separate from you. Many of you, I feel that you do see that this person is divinely guided into your life. Oh, yeah. They are your twin flame. This genuinely could be a romance of a lifetime. Because the feelings that you have for this person are real. This is not in your mind. This is not you thinking that there's an illusion or something. This is real. And I feel that you're being guided to communicate clearly. Because you know that they love you. You do know that. And lo oh, look at that. The, uh, didn't I say to you, this person is really, really sad, really, really sad, really, really heartbroken. Six swords coming out here. So it feels as if this person is very, very much, I mean, heartbroken. I mean, heartbroken doesn't even, feels as if it's not even enough words. And I feel what this tug and pull is, is they can't ignore how upset, heartbroken they are. Um, but they just want it just to be over and done with. Either you're with them or you're not. If you're not with them, I feel that you're really being guided to take them out of their misery. If you want to be with them, then you've got to kind of start giving to this connection, Tauruses, in the nicest possible way. Thank you. And look at that. With the uh, five of um, cups, the five of cups face up is this person disappointed and sad. I, I can't even tell you the energy of the sadness and the unknowing and the disappointment and almost this is why they're in this like internal conflict. They can see... Um, they can see the happiness and the abundance that's right there. It's almost like with you, they can touch it, feel it, experience it. But they, they, yeah, they're, they're just really, really sad because they don't know how you feel. The five of um, cups in reverse is this person's feeling either a little bit nostalgic. So there must have been at some point that you were very playful. You were very romantic with this person because they fell in love with you. Okay. Um, so this person is, I feel extra sad because they're missing your energy. They're missing um, the tactile um, attention that you would give them. But do you know something? It feels as if they will forgive you if you just let them know one way or another yeah they it feels as if they want a a resolution they want an answer they they just want to like have a decision so that they can either move forward or be in this relationship with you god i really feel it for this person tauruses ah uh, thank you oh my gosh so with the King of Cups, I feel that this person sees you as, this is what I mean, the two of you must have expressed love to each other at some point because this person is really sad because you may have, look, didn't I tell you, the two of you must have expressed love or there must have been some sort of romance. They are sad that you are not showing that, that kind of love anymore. It's like you've turned your back on them. You've pulled your love away. And the king and the queen of cups. What did I say to you? Twin flame. I feel that this person definitely wants a second chance with you. I mean, you would swear blind that you've walked away from this connection already. I feel 
feel they just want to move forward and just have clarity of where the two of you are going. I feel with the judgment cards, they are definitely being called to restore the connection or they want to restore the connection um, to how it was. You showing them love. Yeah, your back is towards them. So it feels as if you've pulled away that love. And it's interesting because their back is towards your energy. So both of you really do need to communicate clearly. Thank you. Oh, look. And as you do actually communicate clearly, whatever the burden is with regards to this person feeling that the connection is very unbalanced, I feel when you talk to this person, um, communicate cl clearly what you want, the situation improves. And so this person starts to come into recovery. Wow. OMG. Do you know what? I wonder if I'm psychic. You've got the Seven of Swords and the Sun card. Secret that... Um, but it's on your side. I saw... Oh, God. I, saw, I was channeling that this person is keeping secret, that they see you as happiness, abundance, prosperity. Uh, guess what? It's on your side. You are keeping secret that you see happiness and abundance and prosperity with them. I would go as far as to say, like I said, you see this person as long-term commitment marriage. I was channeling literally them keeping secret how they feel about you. Happiness, abundance. Could be dealing with the Leo or you could have Leo in your chart. I think it was Leo that had a very similar reading. Thank you. Yeah, this person wants to celebrate the connection. You may want to celebrate because you're thinking about this person. So unless you, because they, don't forget, this is a twin flame, right? So unless you are picking up their energy that they're secretly seeing happiness and abundance with you and wants to celebrate this connection and get to know you, because this is their energy, right? So if you're thinking about them, put, yeah, so I was right with what I was channeling. It is them. So you guys know that. You, you know that they secretly think the world of you. Yeah, think the world of you. They see happiness, victory, abundance. They want to get to know you. They want to celebrate the connection. You know this. You're thinking about it. You, do you know what, right? You're being guided to offer that love to this person. That hand is coming towards them. And look at the hand there. Can you see it? The hand there. You're being guided to balance out this connection and bring peace by communicating clearly. That is what will improve this situation. I feel that there's a new beginning for the two of you, all right? What I love about the Ace of Cups, those that know me, it's my favorite card. Whatever is going on in your human reality, on a soul level, the two of you love each other unconditionally. I would say that the two of you were married in past lives. And it was a very loving, tactile, romantic relationship. And that possibly explains, if this is a relatively newish relationship, how you automatically were being playful, romantic with each other, showing, expressing love. Because what you were probably picking up on on a soul level is that is how you were in past lifetimes. But then our human self gets involved, doesn't it? You start questioning, is this too good to be true? Do I really want this? Am I really ready for this? With the four cups here, you're thinking about this person quite heavily. You're thinking about what they are thinking about. I feel that two of you are quite spiritually in tune. But I feel that you're being guided to communicate, communicate how you feel. Yeah, that hand is going towards them. Let's continue. Thank you. Many of you, you're either defensive about expressing emotions to this person or defensive to let them know that you do see them as long-term commitment marriage. I feel you're being guided to fight for the connection. 
by bringing some playful energy and to recognize and acknowledge that your feelings for this person is very, very much real. All right, let's get some advice for you. Okay, my angels and spirit guides of the divine, please can you tell me that? Oh gosh, that flew out. What we got? Take time out for yourself. That's what I was saying in terms of connect with Mother Earth. Connect with your inner, your inner um, spirit, your inner light. So that you can see clearly what it is you need to do. And it's to do with communicating clearly to this person what you want. Many of you might not know what you want. But you're being guided to, 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 de to decide pretty quickly. Pretty darn quickly. Otherwise this person will walk away that's where that separation card comes in. All right. So take some time out, ground yourself um, and really think about what it is you, you want with this person. And then your second message says, every being has free will. Stop trying to control the situation. Mm -hmm. Taurus is trying to control the situation. Yeah. Um, Wanting it on your terms, perhaps. Don't want this person to get a little bit too close, being a bit defensive. You're being guided to don't try and control this connection because many of you, your feelings are very real. And it's stemming from the fact that you guys have lived many lives together. We can see it with the pair of the King and Queen of Cups. We can see it um, with the Romance card and we can see it with the Ace of Cups. Oh, look at that. Stop worrying, your desires are manifesting. I feel that many of you desire something solid, grounded, because you see this person as divinely guided into your life. But it feels as if your past experiences with love is playing with you a little bit. Leave it behind. It's almost, I'm almost picking up that energy, Taurus, that you just don't want to make a mistake. Stop worrying. What you've been manifesting, long-term commitment, somebody that divine spirit universe has kind of created for you, you know, someone that will love you unconditionally that will want to be around you, celebrate this connection, abundance, happiness. Your desires are right in front of you. So stop worrying and make a decision soon, all right? I'm going to leave that there for you. If it resonates, please feel free to click that thumbs up button on the video. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Until next time, I'm sending you loads and loads and loads of love, peace and light. You take care. Bye-bye.